Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. My name is Novataz. You are watching Novataz, and uh, this is my 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Um, if you've been following the channel, uh, you know this thing has been having transmission issues, and me trying to figure it out myself, and it's not being a really high priority project, have been quite frustrated with it. Um, but if you would like to support the channel, uh, I'd like to let you know that we finally have merch for the truck. So, um, if you like the channel, you like the truck, uh, and you want to support the channel, go check out my Teespring, uh, account. Um, it's under Novataz Customs if you search it, or you can go click the link on the, in the description below. And this is the latest shirt. I do have other stuff regarding to the Trans Am and the Nova, um, but these shirts and other merch with this truck uh, is up on the Teespring account. We got coffee mugs, we got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers. Um, take a couple seconds, go check it out, and uh, come back and watch the rest of this video. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a few days, I've been a little under the weather, but uh, we are back on this transmission right here. Um, you've already seen, if you've seen the last episode, um, so... Uh, I'm going to get this transmission back up on the bench and I'm just going to quick time lapse tearing it back apart and putting it back together because when I took the overdrive housing unit off, um, yeah, I made a boo-boo. I forgot that you can't get the overdrive unit back on with the case full. So I have to pull all the guts out of the transmission to be able to get the overdrive unit back on and then basically go right back where I am because the main case right there is fully assembled and done but I can't get that overdrive unit on that tail shaft with it together so let's quick undo my mistake get us back where we are so we can get the transmission back up Alrighty, so transmission is done, put back together, ready to go back in the truck. We pull the truck forward and have it up on jack stands and the ramps. Um, was originally going to go with the ramps and decided to thought better of it and just figured I'd stick the jack stand under it. Um, but uh, we're ready to uh, put this put this back in. Been a long day already not for you but for me all right let's get this done 
Anyway, so I look like crap. Truck has a transmission back in it. Um, so, truck has transmission back in it. I still need to put the rest of the drive line back in and fill it with fluid. But uh, that'll have to be for the next video. I gotta call it a night. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, uh, sorry I didn't film any of uh, putting the front part of it. It was all tedious, long, drawn out, fighting with stuff that didn't want to go in the way it was supposed to. But everything in the front half of the transmission, bell housing bolts, uh, well, bell housing bolts were already done. Uh, I finished, made sure they were all tight. Torque converter bolts, starter, trans lines, all the linkages, plugs and wires, all of that stuff is back in. We now have to get the transfer case back in and the drive shafts and the vacuum lines. And then we can start filling it up full of transmission fluid. So, going to get that part done. Um, you really want to see me struggle to put that thing in there? Um, sure, I'll show you. All right, let's set that up. Alright guys, good news is, transfer case is up in here. Bad news is, I have to take out the transmission motor mount to drop the transfer case down to be able to get to the bolts on the top and to get to the one bolt that's like, right, right up in here. So, um, let me do that real quick and get these in and mounted and then we'll start working on the drive shafts. Alright, my hair is probably a mess, but I don't really care. Uh, I have the battery on the charger. I have transmission fluid that I filtered. It is old transmission fluid. I'm not going to spend another $80 in transmission fluid if this doesn't work anyway. Um, we'll, do an, we'll do a fluid change after I know the transmission is working. Anyway, um, I gotta fire the truck up to, make, to uh, put the transmission fluid in it. So we're gonna fire this thing up for the first time in probably about a year. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, and you just can't get into it because they would never understand. One eternity later.
well she ran I don't know why she won't stay running but uh, let's get some transmission fluid in her and I will uh, get back to see if we can get this thing to move 